everyone welcome to tutorials point in this video we will be learning about ions now it is known that atoms combine to form molecules and they do it in three different ways that is they either lose gain or share electrons now the compounds that are composed of molecules which are made up of atoms which lose or gain electrons are termed as ionic compounds now ionic compounds have a metallic atom and a non metallic atom in them and a commonly known ionic compound is the common salt that is sodium chloride which is formed out of sodium atom and chlorine atom when these two atoms combine they form common salt that is sodium chloride now let us zoom into this reaction and see what happens actually there now a sodium atom has 11 protons and 11 electrons which nullify each other and thus this sodium atom becomes electrically neutral now we see that it has three shells in which these 11 electrons are distributed and we see that these two inner shells are completely filled but the outer one which has only one electron is not completely filled in order to be completely filled it has to have totally 8 electrons but it has one electron so it is not completely filled now every atom of an element has a tendency to be fully filled it generally prefers to be fully filled so in order to do that this sodium atom loses this extra electron to become this structure now this structure of sodium has two shells which are completely filled after losing this extra electron now this atom of sodium has 11 protons but it has 10 electrons since it has already lost one electron now these 10 electrons nullify 10 protons but there is one more extra proton which is not nullified so this extra proton gives this sodium atom a positive charge it means that this version of sodium atom is not neutral but it is positively charged because of this extra proton over there so this positively charged sodium atom is called as sodium ion which looks something like this now this positive charge that this ion has is written somewhere here at the top right corner of this symbol now every positively charged ion is called as a cation and here in this case this sodium ion is positively charged so we call it as a cation now let us see what is happening in the case of chlorine now a chlorine atom has this kind of electronic structure which has 17 protons and 17 electrons now these 17 electrons are arranged in three shells of chlorine atom now here also we see that these two inner shells are completely filled whereas this outermost shell has seven electrons which means that it is incomplete and it requires one more electron to be completely filled so this chlorine atom will capture the electron which was lost by sodium previously and it would make its shells completely filled now here we see that all the three shells of this chlorine atom is completely filled so here we see that it has 17 protons but 18 electrons now this 17 protons nullifies 17 electrons but one more electron is left out which gives this chlorine atom a charge of minus 1 so basically this chlorine atom is negatively charged and this negatively charged chloride chlorine atom is said to be chloride ion which is this now the negative sign is written at the top right corner of the symbol of chlorine and this is how it is written now any negatively charged ion is called an anion so this negatively charged chloride ion is called an anion now let us see how these two atoms combine to form the sodium chloride molecule now we had a sodium atom and a chloride atom now this sodium atom lost one electron to form a sodium ion it has lost this electron to form this sodium ion now this chlorine atom captures this ion, uh, electron to form uh, this one that is chloride ion now these two ions 
stick together to form a molecule of sodium chloride. So we, we see here that these two ions that is metallic ion and a non-metallic ion which is negatively charged stick together to form an ionic compound that is sodium chloride. Now this was all about the formation of sodium chloride with these ions. Now let us move ahead and see the formation of ions in other metals and non-metals. Now let us see the formation of magnesium ion. So this is a neutral magnesium atom which has equal number of protons and electrons to nullify each other that is 12 protons and 12 electrons. Now these 12 electrons in magnesium atom are arranged like this. And again here in this case we see that these two inner shells are completely filled whereas the outermost shell has two electrons in it and thus it is not completely filled. So what it does, it also loses these two extra electrons to become something like this. Now this magnesium atom has 12 protons but since it has lost these two electrons, it has 10 electrons. Now these 10 electrons nullify 10 positively charged protons and hence there are two extra protons which are left out and these two extra protons give it a charge of plus 2. Now this positively charged magnesium atom is written like this which is called a magnesium ion and since this is a positively charged ion we call it a cation. Now let us see the ion formation in aluminium. Now aluminium atom in a neutral state is like this which has 13 protons and 13 electrons which exactly nullify each other to leave it as a neutral atom. Now we again see that these two inner shells are completely filled but there are three extra electrons in the outermost shell. Now this aluminium atom loses these three extra electrons to form a structure like this. Now this aluminium atom has three extra protons which give it a charge of plus three. Now this positively charged aluminium atom is called as aluminium ion. And since it is positively charged, we call it as a cation. Now this was all about the metallic ions which are cations. Now let us look at some non-metallic ions which are anions. Now first is the formation of oxide ions and it is from an oxygen atom. Now a neutral oxygen atom looks something like this which has 8 protons and 8 electrons to nullify each other to leave a neutral oxygen atom. Now this oxygen atom has its innermost shell completely filled with two electrons and the next shell has six electrons which means that it is not completely filled. It needs two more electrons to become completely filled. So it gains two electrons to become a structure like this. Now this version of oxygen has eight protons but since it has, it has gained two electrons it has ten electrons. Now these 8 protons nullify 8 electrons and hence there are 2 extra electrons with oxygen atom. Now these 2 extra electrons make this oxygen atom negatively charged. That is this oxygen atom is now represented as O2 minus. Now this 2 minus represent the extra negative charge given by these 2 extra electrons to this oxygen atom. Now this ion is called an oxide ion. Now this ion is negative ion and hence it is called an anion. Now let us look at some more negative ions. Now a nitrogen atom has a structure like this where 7 electrons are arranged in 2 shells. Now there are 7 protons and 7 electrons which nullify each other. So this is a neutral atom which has 7 electrons. Now this outermost shell has 5 electrons in it which means that it is not fully filled and it requires three more electrons to be fully filled. So this nitrogen atom gains three electrons and it becomes a structure like this which has seven protons and ten electrons. Now here we see that there are three extra electrons with this neutral uh, nitrogen atom. Now this three extra electrons give this ni nitrogen atom a charge of minus three. And so it becomes negatively charged that is N3 minus and this form of nitrogen atom is called as a nitride ion. 
Now this nitride ion, we see that it's a negative ion because of the presence of extra, extra electrons. So this negative ion is called an anion. So this was all about the negatively charged ions that is anions. Now let us move on to the summary of this video. That is the atoms combine to form molecules. The atoms combine in three ways that is by losing electrons, gaining electrons or sharing electrons. Now when they gain or lose electrons they become charged and these charged species are called as ions. And there are two kinds of ions that is positive ions which, are, which we call as cations and negative ions which we call as anions. And whenever a neutral atom loses electrons it becomes a cation that is positively charged and when it loses it gains electrons it becomes anions which are negatively charged. So this was all about ions and I hope you like this video. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.